Hello friends, welcome back to a new video that is MCQs on disease microbiology or microbial disease and this is the part 2 of the series of videos on disease microbiology. So let, let's start the MCQ session on disease microbiology. So the first question is question number 21 and that is diphtheria is connected with which part of organ that is option A lungs, option B throat, option B blood or option D liver and the right answer is option B that is throat. So diphtheria <coughs> is connected with throat. So diphtheria is a serious infection caused by strains of bacteria called Corinibacterium diphtheri that make toxin. So it as usually affects the mucous membrane of the nose and throat. Okay, so diphtheria causing serious infection in throat by the bacterium Corinibacterium diphtheri. So let's move on to question number 22. Question number 22 that is jaundice a physiological disease of liver is commonly due to option A bacterium, option B by virus, option C protozoan or option D helminth. So which one is correct about jaundice that is option B that is virus. So jaundice a physiological disease of liver is commonly due to virus. Okay. So here we will see some say <coughs> some notes about jaundice. So jaundice is a condition that cause the skin whites of eyes and mucous membrane to turn yellow. So in jaundice condition, our skin, our eyes and mucous membrane turn yellow and it caused by a buildup of bilirubin, a yellow orange bile pigment in the blood. So it is caused due to, uh, due to bilirubin, which cause yellow color in skin, eye and mucous membrane. Okay, so let's move on to question number 23. That is smallpox and rabies, that is hydrophobia, are caused by option A virus, option B protozoan, option C bacterium or option D nematodes. So what is the causative agent of smallpox and rabies that is option A that is also virus. So smallpox and rabies that is hydrophobia are caused by viruses and here we will see those viruses that is smallpox caused by the variola virus a member of the orthopox virus family and rabies caused by Lassa viruses. So the infection spread through the saliva of infected animals. So these are two <coughs> virus caused disease. Okay. So let's move on to the next question that is question number 24. A viral disease is option A cancer, option B leukemia, option C typhoid or option D yellow fever. So which disease is <coughs> caused by viruses? So the right answer is option D that is yellow fever is a viral disease and here we will share some knowledge about yellow fever disease. So yellow fever is caused by a arbovirus that is a virus transmitted by vectors such as mosquitoes thick and other arthropods that way that's why it is called arbovirus so this type of this yellow fever is caused by arbovirus transmitted to human by the bites of infected eddies and hedgehogs hedgehogs mosquitoes okay so let's move on to question number 25 that is Trypanosomiasis is spread by trypanosomiasis is a disease which spread by option A housefly, option B sandfly, option C sissifly or option D culex. So which is the trans uh, <coughs> by which by which uh, <coughs> method the trypanosomiasis is spread. So the right answer is option C. That is CC fly. So trypanosomiasis is spread by CC fly. Okay. And here trypanosomiasis is a parasitic disease that can infect humans and animals. It also known as African sleeping sickness or sleeping sickness. 
African sleeping, uh, sleeping sickness is an infectious disease caused by the parasite tri Trypanosoma brucei graminis or Trypanosoma brucei rhodiensis and transmitted by the CC fly. Okay, so these are all about Trypanosomiasis. Now, next question is question number 26, which is a viral disease and options are option A, tetanus, option B, dysentery, option C, typhoid or option D, none of these. So, which one is viral disease? That is option D. That is none of these options are correct about the viral disease. This tetanus, dysentery, typhoid, none of these are viral disease. Okay. Let's move on to question number 27. Which disease is caused by a nematode? And options are option A, poliomyelitis, option B, leprosy, option C, filarius, filariasis or option D, amoebiasis and the right one about the nematode causing disease is option c that is filariasis and here we will see filariasis is a disease caused by a chronic mosquito borne parasitic infection with parasite classified as nematode that is round ohms so there are three types of these thread like filarial ohms and Ucheria bancrofti which is responsible for 90% of this case. So three types of uh, <coughs> nematodes are responsible for this filarious disease but uh, among them Ucheria bancrofti is uh, responsible for 90% of the cases of filariasis. Okay. So next question they can get next is question number 28. Syphilis is caused by option A trypanoma pallidum, option B leptospira, option c pastorella or option d vibrio so syphilis which is a sexually transmitted disease is caused by option a that is trypanoma pallidum okay so let's move on to question number 29 albinism a congenital disorder is due to lack of enzyme that is option a tyrosinase option b xanthine oxidase option c catalase or option d fructokinase and the right answer about the albinism is option a that is tyrosinase so albinism is a congenital disorder which is caused due to the lack of enzyme tyrosinase and this albinism is a congenital disorder <coughs> sorry uh, here the congenital disorder is mentioned so what is a congenital disorder a congenital disorder is a structural or functional abnormality that occurs during pregnancy so they are also known as birth, de birth defects congenital anomalies or congenital malformer malformations so albinism is a congenital disorder it is a group of inherited condition that cause a reduction or absence of melanin pigments okay so next question they can get next is Insect that spreads plague is option A, anophilis, option B, pediculus, option C, xenophile, uh, xeno, xenopsilla, or option D, yersinia. So the right one is option D, that is yersinia pestis. So insect that spread plague is yersinia, okay. And here the disease is caused by a bacterium that is yersinia pestis. And the pathogen is transmitted by flays particularly the oriental rat flea that is xenopsilla uh, seopsis okay that is called the Roth's, Rothschild okay so next question they can get next is question number 31 that is typhoid is caused by option A Escherichia coli or option B Shigella option C Salmonella or option D Giardia so typhoid is caused by option C that is salmonella typhi that's why it is called typhoid okay so next is question number 32 a uh, communicable disease is option a quasircor option b diphtheria option c diabetes or option d hypertension and the right one is option b that is diphtheria so a communicable disease is diphtheria so what is communicable disease that communicable diseases are illnesses caused by viruses or bacteria that people spread the that uh, people spread to one 
another through contact with contaminated surfaces bodily fluid blood product insect bites or through the air so communicable disease are spreaded by one people to another that's why it is called communicable disease okay and here diphtheria is a bacterial disease which is also a communicable disease but diabetes hypertension that cannot be transferred from men to men or person to person okay so that's why it is called communicable disease so let's move on to question number 33 it is a disease which cause maximum death in children is option a diphtheria option b measles option c tuberculosis or option d whooping cough and the right one is option c that is tuberculosis so a disease which causes maximum death in children is tuberculosis okay and the tuberculosis is caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis which is a bacterium okay bacteria that cause tb short form it is called tb disease okay so next is question number 34 that is a non-communicable disorder is option a tb option b tb means uh, tuberculosis option b arthritis option c diphtheria or option d rabies so which one is non-communicable disorder so already we have discussed discussed about the communicable disease now you can guess what is non communicable disease so the right answer is option b that is arthritis so arthritis here is a non communicable disorder so non communicable means they cannot be transferred from person to person so that is arthritis because all other tb diphtheria and rabies these are caused by bacteria okay so next one is question number 35 select the viral disease and options are option a diabetes option b tetanus option c leprosy or option d poliomyelitis and the right one we all know that is option d this poliomyelitis or polio disease okay so next one is question number 36 the change in the functioning of the cell behavior in disease condition are called option a vector option b pathogens option c reservoir or option d symptoms and the right one is option d that is symptoms so the changes in the functioning of the cell behavior in disease condition are called that is the symptom of that disease okay so next one is question number 37 so technically parasites are those organisms that are option a that live on or within a host organism and are metabolically dependent on the host option b that live within a host organism and are not metabolically dependent on the host or option c any organism that causes disease or option d both a and c and the right answer about the parasites is option d that is both a and c is the correct one so both a means that live on or within a host organism and are metabolically dependent on the host and also any organism that cause disease is known as parasites okay so next one is question number 38 and that is an intermediate host is refers to option a the host on or in which the parasitic organisms either attain sexual maturity or reproduces option b that is a host that serve as a temporary but essential Involvement for some stages of development or option C it is not necessary for the completion of the Organisms life cycle, but it used as a vehicle for Reaching a final host or option D a host infected with a parasitic organisms that also can infect humans So which one is a intermediate host? So intermediate host right answer is option B that is a uh, intermediate host is a host that serve as a temporary but essential involvement for some stages of development that's why it is called intermediate host okay so move on to question number 39 that is a host which is not necessary for the completion of the organism's life cycle but is used as a vehicle for reaching a final host that is option a transfer host option b final host option c intermediate host or option d reservoir host and the right one is option a 
that is transfer host so a host which is not necessary for the completion of the organism's life cycle but is used as a vehicle for reaching a final host that's why it is called transfer host okay so the last question of this video that is uh, individual characteristics that confer virulence are called option a virulence factor option b invasiveness option c infectivity or option d virulence and the right answer is option a that is virulence factor so individual characteristics that confer virulence are called virulence factors okay so these are all 20 questions of this part 2 video on disease microbiology so thank you for watching this video